Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix fatal error. So low level fatal error, or if you're receiving this error, that which says the UE survival game has crashed and will close low level fatal error, DXGI error device removed or DXGI error device hung. So if you're receiving this error message, whenever you launch or whenever you play the day before game on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to simply restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to try these in launch options. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. Now in the launch option, type in dash D3 D11 without any space. So type in dash D3 D11. Now close this. Now launch the game and then check. Now still you are facing the problem then go to properties once again and this time type in DX11 and then launch the game and then check still you are facing the problem then you can try dash DX12 and then launch the game and then check still you are facing the problem then remove this still it's not working you can clear this and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now open the survival folder. Now open binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. Now over here, find the game exe file. So over here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still you're facing the problem do the same thing with this exe file the second exe file select properties and then again put a check over here run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game now still you're facing the problem then go back and then open engine folder binaries folder And yeah, that's it. You, you run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder from this location. Now, still you're facing the problem, then make a right click on the game exe file once again, go to properties and then over here, put a check on the box over here and then select Windows 8 from the list. Click on apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, select properties once again and this time select Windows 7. Click on apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, do the same thing with the second exe file, properties, and then put a check over here, select Windows 8, apply, OK, make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, again, select Windows 7 over here, click on apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Now still the game is not launching. In that case, you can make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, and then uncheck everything. So when putting a check, is not resolving the problem you can uncheck all the boxes from here up click on apply click on ok make a right click once again on the second exe file and uncheck all the boxes from here and then click on apply click on ok and then you can launch the game and check if that does not work follow the next step now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall battle i now for this again uh, go to the game installation folder, make a right click, select manage, click on browse local files and then open survival binaries win64 battle i and then over here you can see uninstall battle i so make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow click on yes click on ok now over here you can see install battle i make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes and then now you can launch the game and then check. Now still you're facing the problem, then uninstall battle I once again, make a right click, run as administrator, click on yes, click on yes, okay. Once uninstalled, do not install this time, just uninstall it and then go to Steam and then launch the game. And click on okay, it will reinstall battle I. Click on yes to allow. And when you launch the game, during the launch, it will reinstall battle I. So this may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute to reinstall battle I and then it will launch the game. So you can see it's uh, launching the game. So let me close the game now. 
Now, still you are facing the problem. The next step is to verify the game files. Now, to verify the game files, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to the installed files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Now, after the verification, the verification will take some time. Now, once the verification is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program, program you have, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to update in security. If you have Windows 10, if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security and then click on Windows security. In Windows 10, you will have an option update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder if the game is installed in c drive open c drive open program files x86 open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will see the game folder, open the game folder, open the survival folder, binaries, win64, select the game exe file and then click on open. Again, click on add and allowed app, browse all apps, so select the second exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now click on system and security, Windows Defender firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. Now click on change settings on the top, click on allow another app, click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. And then select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Again, click on allow another app, then click on browse, select the second exe file, click on open, now click on add. In my case, both exe files are already added. Now, once you have the game added over here, so once you have the game added over here, now click on OK, now launch the game and then check. Now, next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select the right series and then select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Now, if, if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. Now click on start search and then scroll down. And here you can see the latest GeForce Game Ready driver. Right now it's uh, version 546.29. So click on Get Download. Now click on Download Now. Now once the download is complete, you have to run this exe file. Now once you run this exe file, you will see this screen. Click on Agree and Continue. And then put a check on the box which says Custom. And then click on Next. And then put a check on the box which says Perform a Clean Installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete first of all it will uninstall the previous version and then it will do a clean installation of the latest version and after the clean installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now so type in graphic settings in windows search box And then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here now go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here, click on Options, select High Performance, now click on Save. Again, click on Browse and then select the second EXE file, click on Add. 
And once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, now click on save, now launch the game. Next step is to delete all the config files. Now for this, now when you delete the config file, whichever settings you have, that will be lost. You have to, if you want to change the settings, you can change the settings later on, but all the saved settings will be lost. So to delete the config file, open file explorer on your computer, and then go to this PC, open C drive, now open the users folder, now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data over here on the top, click on view, then select show and then put a check on hidden items. You should be able to see app data. If you have Windows 10 somewhere over here, you will find the view option. Click on view. Then somewhere over here, you will find the hidden items box. Put a check on hidden items and you should be able to see app data folder. Open app data. Now open the local folder. Now over here, find the survival folder. Open survival folder. Open save folder. Now open the config folder or you can simply make a right click on the config folder and then click on delete. Once you delete the config folder, now you can launch the game. Still you are facing the problem. Next step is to delete the save game files. Now before you delete the save game file, let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress. So you have to start everything from scratch. To delete the save game files, again go to the same location and go back so open C drive, then open users folder, username, app data, local, and over here you will see the survival folder. Delete the complete survival folder. Make a right click and then click on delete. Once this is deleted, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to install Visual C++ files. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22, download x86 and download x64. So you download both x86 and x64, and then you have to run both the exe files. So click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, I have already installed it. So it's telling me to restart my computer. So please ignore this. Again, run the second exe file that is x86 and x64. So click on repair again. If you see the repair, if you see the install option, click on install again. Let the installation complete. In your case, it will install it and then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. So click on restart once it is installed and then you can launch the game. Next step is to skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. If you're able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, you, you can go to graphics settings and switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if everything is set to fantastic, you can lower down graphics settings and then check. Next step is to disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. So disconnect additional controller. Now, if you have any kind of external devices, if you have de these devices connected, disconnect it. So disconnect all the USB adapter and the devices which you're not using and then launch the game. Also disable Steam overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, and then launch the game. Also close other overlay applications. So if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner or Reward Tuner, so if you have any kind of overclocking application, close it. Do not overclock and close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also, if you have any kind of third party services or application running, close it. Make sure only the Steam and the game is running. Rest close everything, including all your browsers and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. Then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option. Restart a computer and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here. 
and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios update available now in case of laptop before you update the system bios make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent the battery on your computer should be more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer now during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it when it's updating the system bios and after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So, if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game, manage, uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, and then reinstall the game to different drive. Now, if the game is installed to external drive, you can install the game to C drive. So, if the game is installed to external drive, you can install the game to C drive. If it is already installed to C drive, then you can uh, try to install in different drive. So try to ins try installing the game to different drive. If C drive, if the game is not installed in C drive, and if that is SSD, that would be great. So try installing the game to C drive, and if it is SSD, then uh, you can reinstall it. And if it is already installed in C drive, you can in reinstall to another SSD and then launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.